Every morning, I think I have to pinch myself. This is where I live. This is the most beautiful place in the whole world. Samsø is one of the over 70 inhabited islands in Denmark. Susanne Lind has been living on and off on Samsø. But when her foster kids attend high school, she will have to move from the island again. They can take until uh, the 10th grade here, and that's it. You have to, to think about that when you live in an island. Despite its beautiful nature, the island can only provide limited opportunities to its over 3,700 inhabitants. 68-year-old Inger Christensen was born on Samsø. She left the island to get an education, but unlike most young people, she came back. Uh, I think um, people on the small islands are, are very easy to, to move because they, they grow up. The, the, the thought that I have to, to go outside the island when, I, when I'm 15 or 16. <laughs> Since Inga's childhood in the 50s, the population of Samsø has dropped by almost 50%. Today, there's no sign of this trend coming to a halt. For the mayor of Samsø, seeing the number of inhabitants shrinking every year is worrying. Well, actually, it's uh, the biggest problem on Samsu and our biggest challenge, uh, really. The less inhabitants you, you are, the less money you'll get from the, the central government to run uh, the island. The less inhabitants are able to, to buy uh, things from our uh, uh, enterprises. As in many isolated regions of Quebec, such as Gaspésie and Côte Nord, the villages of the Danish islands are struggling to maintain the number of inhabitants. During summer, the streets of Samsø are buzzing with touristic activities. But when it comes to daily life, reality shows that establishments like this former barbershops are closing down. If you only look at economic parameters or economic uh, variables, you could argue that uh, there's uh, no need to keep the uh, more peripheral areas going. But if you look at the, all the other variables, then uh, of course, there's a reason for, for keeping uh, many of these uh, areas uh, going. According to the mayor, the quality of life on Samsø cannot be calculated in money. The best thing in Denmark would be if everybody lived in one city. That would be most profitable. But we're in Denmark and we want to have islands. Islands are part of our culture. In the hopes to stabilize the number of people living on Samsø, Marcel Meyer wishes to develop another ferry line linking Samsø directly to Aarhus. Infrastructure gets more and more important. Mobility gets more and more important in Denmark. And then also as an island, if you want to take part of growth, you have to make sure that you can, you can get across uh, to the mainland. To take on the challenges Samsø faces, Susanna thinks solutions must come from its community. Well, if you want something to happen in the small islands, you, you just go ahead and do it yourself because it's not coming. If you sit down and wait, it's not coming. The way I see it now, it's like, this is where we're going to stay until they make it too impossible for us. <laughs> I don't know. We'll fight it. <laughs> fight for the, the possibilities to stay here. <laughs> <laughs>